So without further ado, let us go back to the Zoom machine and say hello to Aaron. Uh, Aaron, really appreciate this, my friend. I'm so sorry to hear about this. I can't believe it. And uh, I really am thankful that you would come on to talk about him for a few minutes. Of course, man. Uh, I appreciate you giving me the, the platform to, to say some things about Elias. It means a lot. Uh, how are you doing, first off? Uh, I'm okay, man. Uh, uh, it's fucking weird, man. When it's someone close to you, it's, uh, it's surreal. Like, uh, I don't know if I'm in shock or disbelief, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to take it in. Did you know he was sick? I did, but I didn't have many details, man. Elias is, uh, I think he always kind of keeps his, uh, his personal life to himself, but, uh, I think even more so this time, um, like I heard some stuff kind of through the grapevine that he was sick, but I didn't really have any details. Uh, and I guess like even right up until the end, he was, um, he, I wouldn't say he was lying, but he was like keeping things from like some of the people that were closest to him, like a, a couple of his coaches, Chad and Garvin, um they were like two of his best friends and i guess they didn't even really have the, the full story uh elias's parents had to kind of fill them in here and there do you have any idea why he kept this such a secret i don't know man i think that's just who he is he's like such a a bubbly guy like a, a free spirit uh like happy good vibes all the time maybe he didn't want to bring people down maybe he didn't want anyone to, to feel sorry for him or or see him in the state that he was, um, I would guess probably something along those lines. When did you first meet him? Um, yeah, I just looked back at, at the post. Uh, I think it was 2015. Wow. And what were the circumstances? Um, we were both training at a gym in Burlington, Ontario, BTC. Uh, I think I had just had my first pro fight or second pro fight. So I was very new into it. He had just won the ultimate fighter. Wow. Uh, I think if my timeline's correct there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was my first time meeting him at the gym. Uh, everyone kept telling me I got to meet this Elias guy cause uh, he's my doppelganger. Uh, and yeah, we, we met that day in Spartan. He beat me up a little bit. And so like, what kind of a teammate was he? he dude, he was awesome. He was, uh, very selfless. Like he invited me on a lot of fight trips. Like I went up to Montreal with him. He would bring me out there, like pay for Airbnbs, drive me around uh, buy food for me and shit. Um, he was there whenever I needed him. Like he lived in Toronto and I was in Niagara. So we're a bit of a drive, but if I was in fight camp, uh, and I needed him, he would be there all the time. If he needed me, I would be there. Uh, I cornered him. I think it was his first fight back actually, uh, after he got released from the UFC, uh, I cornered him for that fight and went on his fight trip so he could beat me up there and shit. Um, but yeah, man, like talk to anyone that trained with him and he was like a, a very giving guy, a good teammate, uh, like willing to help out a good student. Um, just, uh, yeah, good, good athlete, good person in general. I, I would never pretend that, you know, we were best friends. Obviously I've had him on the show a few times texted and, uh, you know, you interview him and you get a sense for so who someone is in those moments seemed incredibly like happy go lucky always smiling didn't take himself too seriously you know he had the hair but he like was the ring boy and all that stuff as a teammate like as, as someone behind closed doors so to speak just as a friend how was he yeah everything that you said man like you you see like there's millions of comments now on all these posts about him uh talking about what kind of person he was and it's people saying the same kind of shit like i, I met him once in passing but he was like such a good dude so nice like took pictures with everyone um, always having a good time. Uh, yeah, man, it, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. He was, uh, like he, he made everyone around him happy when he was there. Uh, do you recall the last time you saw him? Yeah, it's been a while. So I was in Vegas for, for a lot of last year. Uh, and he, so I had my contender series fight. He yeah. came down for the end of my camp, helped me out a bit. Um, and then, uh, after I lost and I was all bummed out and depressed, uh, he came and drank with me and ate food and whatever. And we kind of had a good time. I think the last time I saw him was, uh, we went to the MGM buffet, uh, on Canadian Thanksgiving of last year. I posted a little clip of it today. It's him, uh, like eating pancakes and waffles with like 20 cups of syrup in front of him and like drinking a beer at 11 in the morning. I, I think that was it because he came back and he kind of knew something was up. Uh, and he did some tests and shit earlier this year. And then I think he kind of laid low since then. So I didn't really see him at all this year. Okay. And, and he just fought in December. 
um, and won that fight, won all his fights yeah. post UFC. Yeah. Did he know that he was sick when he fought in his last fight? I don't think so. I, I don't know for sure, but I don't think so. I guess he was like complaining of some some pain and shit uh, last year in Vegas, right after I left, which would have been like October. Um, but I, I don't think he would have got checked out there until he came home probably like earlier this year. Okay. And what about like speaking to him on the phone or something like that? When was the last time? Um, pro probably, I don't know if we spoke on the phone even this year, but, uh, like he would text me and message me all the time. He just messaged me maybe two weeks ago. Um, and it's, it's very nice that this was like the last communication we had, but, uh, the message is just like, Hey buddy, uh, I'm so fucking proud of you. Enjoy the ride. Like have fun. Oh, wow. I think it was like August 17th or something. It might've been, uh, right after I was on your show. Do you, do you think that, do you think he was like saying goodbye there? So a lot of his last messages were, were kind of like that. Uh, he would say something like kind of sappy, like so proud of you, buddy, love you, whatever. And then I would reply and then I wouldn't get, he wouldn't even read my message back. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And, and did you like when you found, did this happen yesterday? To the best. Uh, there we Monday. I, it might've been Saturday. Okay. How did you find out? Um, through uh, a close friend of his. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to believe. And I can't imagine how, how you and your teammates are feeling. I think you're in Florida right now, right? I saw on your social media. Yes. Um, what, what, like usually when these things happen, you know, you want to be around friends, you know, your teammates and stuff. How are you handling it being so far away? Um, I'm okay. It gets my mind off shit for sure. Uh, like I, I know, if Elias had anything to say about it, he'd be happy that I'm down here, like grinding with these guys and getting hard working and whatever. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's good to get my mind off things, I think. Okay. Um, obviously the cannabis stuff was a big deal for him. He was a huge advocate for that. Got the TUE. Did you get a sense for like how big of a deal this was for him when he was fighting for it? Uh, yeah, man, he was like grinding all the time working on that. So I don't like really understand any of the legal ins and outs or, or any of it really like I'm not a big weed guy myself, but, uh, yeah, he was like grinding for a long time. And, and I know when he finally got it done, he was like very proud of that. And, and I think one thing people need to know is that, uh, he wasn't just like some stoner. He had, he had an injury, right. Um, and yeah. a nerve injury that he used, he wanted to use the cannabis to help like as, as, as for medicinal pur purposes, correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I think like he broke a bunch of bones in his hand and and had some nerve issues as well. So it wasn't just some guy who just wanted to party or anything like that. Um, if you, Maybe about that too. <laughs> well, I mean that would be good, but like there was a reason for this. It wasn't just because he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, hence yeah. hence the TUE. Also, was a ring boy. Yeah. Like just didn't seem to take himself very seriously. Um, had a great like esprit, you know, to him. If yeah. you know what I mean, a joie de vivre to use another French term. Um, just a lovely, lovely guy for those that didn't get to know him. How, how would you best describe, like, how would you want people to remember Elias Theodoro? Uh, yeah, man. A lot of the things you just said, like he was like bubbly is a good word for right. him. Like flamboyant. He was like loud. He was happy. Uh, like you said, he didn't take himself too seriously, but at the same time he was like, he had such a good work ethic. Like every time I saw him, he was grinding, he didn't really take time out of the gym. He did all the TUE stuff. He had like other business deals on the side. Um, yeah, he he brought good vibes to wherever he was. He was like someone that I kind of wanted to like model my career after. Like a, he was a huge role model for me because like I said, I, I was like very new into the sport and he was winning the ultimate fighter and doing all this other shit, like using his platform to, to do other things. And uh, yeah, he was like a, a very big role model for me for sure. Tough sparring partner. Yeah, man, that, that guy gave me some good licks over the years for sure. I think uh, I think the last couple of years I was uh, I kind of uh, narrowed the gap a little bit. Like we were pretty neck and neck. But man, when I when I started out, that guy was uh, laying some beatings on me. Uh, as someone who was so proud of his hair, what did he think of yours? Did he ever comment on it? Oh yeah, he loved it. He oh, he did it. like I it. Think, I think I think he liked that uh, our hairs were different enough that we didn't have to compete. Uh, but but he recognized mine as some good hair too. <laughs> uh, anything to the best of your knowledge um, that the gym is doing that the community is doing for him do you, do you know of anything like, I know it's very fresh but just curious 
Yeah, uh, I think it's, yeah, th this is probably just an idea as of right now, but I think they're going to do like a, a big kind of get together memorial thing, like a, a celebration for him. Okay. Will you be able to um, attend that? It, it's, yeah, it's not going to be like immediately, like there's funeral shit this week and whatever that I won't be able to be at. But uh, I think sometime like in the next couple months, they're going to do a, a big celebration that Elias would want. Okay. Um, and, and what about you? Do you know when you're fighting again? Nope, nothing yet. Um, I think some of the, most of the cards are full, uh, like till the end of the year, I'm hoping to get on the one in December if they can uh, match me up for then. And if not, it'll, it'll be early next year. Okay. Uh, was just, I, I know this much more important, but, uh, you know, maybe you can honor him and, uh, you know, get a win for your friend, uh, in, in, in 2022, another win as you're, as you're climbing the ranks of Bellator, I'm sure you'd want to do that. Sure. Yeah. I've, uh, a couple of his close friends and coaches, they just told me like, man, he, he was so proud of you. Uh, his, his really good friend Lachlan actually just messaged me and said, we watched the last Bellator fight together and, and he was like, so fucking proud of you. Uh, <laughs> but he still said, what did he say? He would still big brother me in the wrestling room. And I was like, no, fuck that guy. I can't even, I can't even prove myself anymore. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice to hear those things now. Yeah. Um, well, I'm so sorry, and I don't want to take up more of your time. I really appreciate you doing this. Uh, any any final things you want to say about your friend before uh, before we let you go? Just that I, I fucking love the guy, and I'm going to miss him, man, way too soon. Yeah, amen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you, your team, your friends, you. uh, to his Very family as well. Thanks for having me on and, and letting me uh, kind of say some things about him. No problem. Thank you, Aaron. Hang in there, my man.